Today I'll be working on my 2001 Toyota Sequoia. I love this truck, it's 23 years old and it just hit 200,000 miles. So it's time to change a lot of parts. Like the timing belt, water pump, alternator, starter, radiator, thermostat, radiator hose, cooling fan, fan clutch, fan assembly, belt tensioner, belt pulleys, intake manifold gaskets, spark plugs, engine coils. With a job this big, it's always nice to have an extra hand. So thanks for Jair. This is not an easy task, a lot of moving pieces, but after many hours of work, I was able to get out all the old parts, and now I'm ready to put in the new parts. There's only one last part that I need to get out, and that is the starter, and that is under this huge intake manifold. And there she is, the new starter. So as I'm working on my car, my arm goes completely stiff from my elbow all the way down to my wrist. And I was just so confused, like why all of a sudden did my left arm just go completely stiff? I kind of just like was waiting, you know, like a minute or two, like, okay, this should go away. And it didn't go away. So I was like, okay, I'll take a 10 minute break and then I'll go get back to my work. So I went inside and I was just sitting by the couch, just waiting for the stiffness to go away, and it didn't go away. At this time, Savannah and all the kids are out of the house. So I was like, should I call Savannah right now? No. And then I waited 45 minutes, and once that 45 minutes was up, my arm was still stiff. And I was like, okay, this is probably a good time to call Savannah. I noticed I had a couple missed calls from Mike and I called him back and he said, I need you to come home right now. Just get the kids, get home and I'll tell you and explain everything when you get back. It's like, all right. So I got home, I went upstairs and found Mike laying on the bed and he just looked completely like drained and a little freaked out. And right away he's like, okay, I don't want you to freak out but something happened to me downstairs when I was working on the car. And like right away I was like, I was like, did you cut yourself? I'm like, are you bleeding? Like, what is going on? He's like, no, he told me the story. And I was like, we have this device that can check your heart rate. I was like, let's see what your heart rate is and see if we can rule out maybe that. The first reading I got was 147 over 83. And I thought that was really weird because I don't think I've ever seen my blood pressure that high like ever. So I was like, you know what, let's just take it again. And it was 152 over 78, which was even higher. And then I was like, well, I'm gonna take it a third time. Maybe it's like an average of that. I took it again and it was 161 over 94. I could tell he was starting to freak out a little bit and I've not seen him like that ever before. So it was making me nervous. So my blood pressure is getting even higher. My arm is completely stiff. And I'm like, okay, so those two symptoms are probably a sign of a heart attack. Then he said, I probably need to go see the doctor. And at that point, I, it made me nervous hearing him say that because he does not like going to the doctors and he'll like avoid it at all costs. And I was like, okay, this is pretty serious and he's definitely freaking out. We got ready like right away. And then as we were heading out the door, I kind of just glanced and saw a couple of my kids and I was like, I really hope this isn't the last time I see them. <laughs> and it was just like a scary moment because you're just thinking of all these scenarios in your head, like what could this be? It was not um, very healthy in my mind <laughs> having those thoughts. So driving to the hospital, uh, Savannah drove me. The drive was really quiet. I think Mike the whole time was just trying to keep his heart rate down and try to keep calm. And I was just like, let's just get to the hospital as soon as we can and hopefully we can get some answers what's going on. 
we went into the waiting room and I had to like fill out some paperwork and stuff and I'm just like, I think I'm having a heart attack. Why am I filling out paper? <laughs> they took me in and asked me what was going on. I told them all my symptoms. They went to take my blood pressure and that was one of the first things I wanted them to do because I was like, maybe the one in my house was like off or something. And they said my blood pressure was 130 over 80. Definitely a lot lower than what um, our machine was saying. So I was just like, okay, that's really good. And then they started uh, listening to my heart and doing a bunch of uh, like tests um, on my arm to see like pressure points, all the things they were doing. I said, I, I don't, that doesn't hurt. Um, it feels fine. What they were able to do is rule out a heart attack, which was like really good, obviously. What they basically thought had happened is I may have had like a pinched nerve and it just like basically shocked my arm. Basically, I thought everything was over with. <laughs> um, that night going to bed, um, I felt a lot of like pins and needles in my legs and my heart started racing and like pounding really hard and I wasn't even like worried about anything. And then the worrying started coming back and I started to freak out a little bit like what is going on? My legs are numb and I looked up online like fast heart rate, numb legs. What does that mean? It's like heart attack. And then I was like, oh no, I think I am having a heart attack. So I'm like, freaking out again in my mind. And it probably took me like over half an hour to actually fall asleep, but I was like racing hard. Like I was trying to calm myself down and I was like singing hymns and like pretending I was in church with, you know, the congregation were just singing and that actually helped. I didn't really realize it until the next day that I was actually having a panic attack. And I've never had one of those before but um, I looked up what symptoms are when you have a panic attack and it was just a long list of things that I was having and basically everything that had happened, um, thinking I was having a heart attack, thinking I was gonna die, going to the hospital, all that stuff um, was probably a huge stress on my body and everything that happened that night were just the after effects of all that. I, that's basically what happened is I may have pinched a nerve in my arm and then I started working it up in my brain that things were going south for me and yeah, that's kind of what happened. So I will say two nights after my panic attack, I almost had another one, but I had a lot more um, control over it because I knew what was going on and I think it's just very important to know um, how to deal with stressful situations like that. After everything, I was like, you know, there's that verse that talks about be anxious for nothing, but in everything, prayer and supplication, giving thanksgiving to the Lord. That really convicted me and it, it really humbled me too. Like, wow, like God is in control. I need to trust him. Um, and I can't even add an hour to my life. You know that verse in Matthew that talks about you can't even gain an hour, God has your days numbered. So a lot of things like that were really um, helpful to me in that time. And your comments on our post, that was extremely helpful. Um, you guys were just like, Mike, maybe it's just an anxiety attack and things like that. And I had no idea what was going on. So thank you guys for all your help and support on that because your information we read it and it helps us. So thank you so much for that. Yeah, we've, we've been getting out. Um, I was able to go to church. I was able to go to my parents' 50 year wedding anniversary, which was awesome. If you guys haven't seen the video where we turned their black and white wedding photo into a color photo, hand colored their wedding photo and surprised them on the anniversary. It was an awesome video if you have a chance to look at it. Um, and get some wisdom from an amazing godly couple on how to make a marriage last. You should definitely watch it. So we'll see you guys next Saturday.